two, three. Praise God. This is uh, Daryl McManus, and uh, I've got my very, very special guest, Apostle Sampath Kumar, international apostle, travels all over the world. He's, I believe you've been to at least 58 countries, right? Yes. And um, this is Pure Fire Bible Institute. This is God's power tools. This is lesson number three. And so what I'm going to do today, um, I'm going to just quickly review the, the list of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. But we're, where we're at right now is we're in the Waco Hilton because there is a, a sovereign revival that has broke out in Waco, Texas. And we are in the ballroom of the Waco Hilton. You can see the instruments behind us. The glory of God is here. And I'm going to tell you, oh my goodness, you, you need to tune in. You need to tune in this evening, which would be a 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, my time. You need to mark that. You need to go to Facebook. It's going to be, it's going to be on Facebook Live because the, the glory of God is here. You need to gather the apostles, your prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, your, your church members. Gather the lost because the Holy Spirit is going to draw them to, to Christ where they accept Him as, a, as their Savior. And so I'm, I'm not going to take real long because, we're, I'm, because I'm going to turn it over to Apostle Sampath because he has such a powerful anointing. And he's going to impart to you. The Holy Ghost is going to lead him. So what we did is we, this is how far we got so far. We, we covered the categories of the nine gifts. We said we divided it into the revelation gifts, those that reveal something. That's the word of wisdom. That's the word of knowledge. And that's the discerning of spirits. I'm not going to give the definitions. I already gave them last time. And then the power gifts. The power gifts are those that do something. The gift of faith, working of miracles, and the gifts of healings. And, and we're going to get into why gifts of healings is in the plural. Because you'll see in certain ministries where it seems like almost everybody's healed with blind eyes. But maybe not, not, not many people with cancer. Other people, everybody with asthma, just you can just bank on it. Other people, like here. One, in, one of the, the reasons why gifts of healings is plural is because... There is a gift of healing for every disease. And like in my, in the way God uses me, I can almost bank on it. Anybody with spinal problems, anything to do with the neck, the spine, all the way down to the knees, I, I, I can just almost be assured that they're going to be healed in that area. So we'll get into that in more depth later. And then the last category is the vocal gifts, and they're those that say something. And of course, that's the gift of prophecy different kinds of tongues, and interpretation of tongues. And so that's our quick review. And now our mighty, my good friend and apostle Sampath Kumar from Vijuwada, India, is here and he's just going to follow the Holy Spirit. Revival greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From Ballroom, uh, Hilton Hotel, Waco. Hallelujah. God is doing something new today. This is a new day in the Lord. The Holy Spirit is hovering over this city in the form of a glory cloud. And we have been experiencing great visitations of the Lord. Today, today we have another live stream in the evening, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We welcome you all to tune in and to receive the blessings and impartation of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Holy Spirit came after Jesus was ascended, after he, yes. he went up. He said, I will send the Holy Spirit who will lead you into all the truth. Yes. So, so then Apostle Paul, he wrote on all the gifts. Yes. And... Uh, the, the, the one that gives is the Holy Spirit. That's right. He gives different gifts, nine yes. gifts. Yes, nine gifts. And uh, so we need those gifts for today. 
And God wants to give those gifts for us today. Yes. But to get those gifts, we have to get the Holy Spirit. That's right. We have to get the Holy Spirit. Amen. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, Lord. Then we have the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts will enable us to, 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 really, to, to reveal the things of God. The Holy Spirit will, will operate through us in terms of discerning of the spirits and yes. you know, different aspects. Because the people that are out there, they are hungry, they are lost, yes. they are desperate, oh, yes. they need help. So God will use us, the Holy Spirit will reveal things to us. Oh yes, oh yes. We don't know. We can see with our own eyes only a little bit. We cannot see deep inside what people are going through. So the Holy Spirit of the Lord will reveal things and also He will empower us. It's very important. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you will receive the power. Acts 1 8. When you receive the Holy Spirit, the power, power is important. Dunamis, the yes. power of God. Yes, yes, dunamis. Yes. That power will help us to be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Amen. This power, the power of, of the Holy Spirit, will enable us to share gospel. Yes. Gospel has power. Amen. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we will tell the world that Jesus died for us. He died for us, oh, for the Lord. whole world. Oh Lord, yes. We should never forget oh, the death of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the reason why we have redemption, we have salvation. Oh, so the death and the blood of Jesus Christ that He shed for us on the cross. So this gospel of power will be preached in all the nations. Yes. Are you preaching the gospel? Are you preaching the gospel with power and authority? You and I need the power of the Holy Spirit yes. so that we can be bold. See, apostles, they were beaten, they were persecuted. They went through many things in the first church. Oh, yes, they did. But they never stopped. They were never afraid. They preached boldly. Because the Holy Spirit gave them boldness. So we need to have the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit we have the gifts of power. We have the gifts of discernment. We have the gifts of the, the, the gift of healings. Yes. Because there are many, many diseases in the world. Yes. And new things are coming up. Yes. So we need God's anointing to touch the world. We need extra power, special power, whatever it takes. Yes. Heaven has it. Amen. Yes. And heaven does. will give it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And God is going to use you That's as right. you That's right. pray for the sick. That's right. With the new power today that people will get healed. Oh, yes. Lord. People thank are you. going through a lot of pain and suffering. Oh, thank you. They are hungry. Sure. May the Lord use your hands. Please lift your hands wherever you are so that the oh. Lord can fill oh. all of us with His oh, power. Extra power, yes, Lord. power that is needed to touch the people, to give them a breakthrough, to set them free from all bondages, to break all the curses in their lives, to give them victory, to give them healing, hallelujah, oh, healing in their bodies. You lay your hands upon yourself. The Lord, Father, we ask you to heal us even right now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. And not only for us, for our families, for our churches, for the people out there in the world. In the name of Jesus, the enemy has come to, to steal, kill and destroy. John's Gospel, 10.10. 10. That's right. We can read, the enemy has come yes. to steal. What did he steal? He stole our government. Yes. God has given us a government of glory. Amen. But he came because of our disobedience. We have given him room and he stole our government. Steal, kill, and destroy. He came to destroy us with what? Sin, sickness, poverty, all kinds of problems. But Jesus came to set us free. And also, he came to kill. You see, if you, if you read that portion in Luke's Gospel, I think 10, 30 to 35, about this man that was going from Jerusalem to Jericho, a blessed place in higher ground, was going down, 
this man was beaten up because of oh, the robbers. Oh yes. And uh, he was killed. Yes. It says he was like half dead. Yes. How can he be half dead? When I see somebody that is living or dead. Yeah. But what it is is spiritually we die. Yes. We lost the link with our Heavenly Father. Physically we are okay. Nice. Sometimes right. wearing a nice tie and yes. suit and everything. But spiritually dead. So the enemy has come to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus came in the form of Samaritan to give us hope, to give us new life. He cleansed the wounds and, 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 and poured oil and wine, oh, yes. the, the blood of Jesus. The Thank Holy, you, Lord. Uh, the, 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 and then he poured wine, the blood of Jesus. Then he poured oil, the Holy Spirit, yes. to bandage the wounds. Yes. And uh, he put us on his own place. Like, you know, he was sitting on the donkey. Yeah. He got down and said, now you sit. He has given us the right yeah. to become sons and daughters. Amen, amen. You know, oh, that's he, good preaching. Yeah, that's a, and then he took us to an inn, local church, and he told, take care of this person. Thank God for the local church. Thank God for the local pastors. You know, and then he said, you take care of him and be busy about it. When I come back, no one else told us that he would come back. Many, many great men saw those holy people, all kinds of people, great leaders. They died, they were buried. But there was one person on the planet, he said, I will come back. Because he died, was buried, and he rose, he Glory. defeated yes, he death. Did. He yes, came he back did. to life, he went to heaven, he's at the right hand of the Father Amen. right now. And he's said, I'll come back. And Jesus is coming back. Oh, yes, he is. Jesus is coming back. Amen. So, we all have to be ready. We all have to finish our homework. I know the work that God has for us. We have to have the Holy Spirit. Yes. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can do all you want and you will not get anything accomplished. That's right. Because the Holy Spirit is God himself coming and living in you. And you will do miracles and wonders. Jesus said you will do greater works. Greater works. We Time have, for greater works. We have not even gone into the works. When are we going to get to the greater world? That's right. God has many things. God used a man by the name of, what's his name? The man in Kinshasa, Zaire, Alexander, Adini, Pefa. Wow. This man, Reynard Bonke, the man of God, introduced him one time. The devil is afraid of this man. Wow. That is Alexander, Adini, Pefa. He had such amazing miracles, raising the dead. There was a lady in his church. She did some mistakes and they had to remove her uterus, the womb inside. Oh. But she wanted to have kids. She went to the pastor. Pastor, I want to have kids. He said, wait a minute. If a watch has a problem, you can go to the watch shop to fit it. There are spare parts there. Yes. If a camera has a problem, you can take the camera shop, they have spare parts. Right. A car has a problem, you take it to the car shop, they can fix it. But what about this body? Where the baby could be whole, it's not there. He blessed her. Four months later, there was a change in the body. Crazy. She went to the doctor. They took x-ray. A brand new home and a baby. Praise God. Awesome. This doctor is the one who operated on her before. He was the one who removed. Oh, God. He's like, wait a minute. What's going on? He took another x-ray. Amen. And God does a miracle, it will be there forever. Amen. And uh, nine months later, God blessed her with a child. Awesome. God is a God of power. Oh, yes, he will he do is. creative miracles through you and me. The yes. Holy Spirit, William Seymour, spoke to a man that came without a leg. That God would give you a new leg. Yes. And God gave a brand new leg right there. Brand new hands. Miracles happened in the past revivals all over the world because the Holy Spirit was using them with power. He was using them to speak life. And the same God is with us today who is sending a great revival in these last days. Oh yes. He, this whole, whole revival is about the God and His Holy Spirit. Amen. It is nothing but God and His Holy Spirit. Let us yield to the Holy Spirit. Let us receive all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, it's like if you don't have the power, you are like working in vain. You've got to have power. You've got to have power. Yeah. Power of God. Holy Spirit is a God of power. Yes. He will do miracles through you and me. Yes. Believe in God. Great harvest is coming.
End time harvest is coming. Great revival is coming. A mighty revival is coming. God is pouring his Holy Spirit. Great rain is coming. I can see the drizzling all right, all over the world. If this drizzle is not going to stop. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's going to go be rain. It's going to be abundant rain and a mighty rain. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, Lord. All over the world. Tune in tonight. Tune in tonight. Come. Be you know, part of it. Receive the impartation. Yes. This is a new day for the church. It's a new wine skin for the church. We are not going to go in the old way anymore. We will wear new wine skin. New anointing is coming. Yes, yes. New anointing is coming. New grape juice. New anointing yes. is coming. God Receive has it. all kinds of pictures full of, now. full of Grape, oh, grape juice. Lord. He's gonna pour it out. Oh, He's gonna pour Lord, it out in Lord, India. Lord, He's gonna pour it out in America. Oh, He's gonna pour it out in Nigeria. Yes. He's gonna pour it out in South America, oh, Central yes. America, North America, all the oh, islands. Gosh, He's yeah. gonna pour it out in Europe. Oh, He's yeah. gonna pour it out in Middle East. He's gonna pour it out in Asia, oh, China, all over the globe. As you call upon his name, as you wait upon him, as we wait upon him, he will pour, 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 pour. I see the pictures in heaven. You know pictures that, are, yes. that contain yes. so much. They are emptying. Oh, yes. I, I, I just, I they are emptying right now. New anointing, Father. We yeah. thank you, Father. Thank you, we Lord. bless you. We give you all the thank glory. You, Lord. Father, fill us with your Lord, power, Lord. Lord. We love with your power. We, we want to be, Lord, like the bones that has life yeah, in them. Amen. Ezekiel 37. Yes. The bones, there was no life, but the prophet spoke and there was life. God is going to fill all the bones with his power. And there will be a great, great harvest in these last days. Amen. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. That's it. And be used of the Lord right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's just lift up our hands as we close this session and we <coughs> praise you, Lord. Go ahead, pray in tongues right Holy Lord God, Holy Lord God, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm.